Welcome to Comedy Global. I'm Anjana, and let's know about India firing up orders for its homegrown Astra missile. India awarded state-run Bharat Dynamics Limited a US $424.4 million deal last month to supply its armed services with the domestic Astra Mk-1 beyond visual range BVR air-to-air -air missile. The initiative is in line with India's efforts to increase its aerial combat capabilities against Pakistan, indigenize its defense sector and maybe position itself as a Russian standard equipment alternative. Bharat Dynamics will supply 400 Astra Mk-1 missiles and accompanying equipment under the contract which will be delivered over four years. The missiles will be used on Su-30 MKI and Tejas Mk-1 aircraft in the Indian Air Force and MiG-29K carrier-based fighters in the Indian Navy. The missiles will be produced at Bharat Dynamics 632-acre manufacturing plant in Bhanur, which cost $74.5 million to build in 2017. Astra was developed by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO in the early 2000s and has since been manufactured by Bharat Dynamics. According to DRDO, India's main agency for military research and development, the all-weather night-capable missile is designed to engage and destroy fast manoeuvring supersonic aircraft. It is equipped with a fully indigenous active terminal guidance system and advanced electronic counter countermeasures ECCM to reduce the effectiveness of enemy jamming. The missile also features lock on before launch LOBL and lock on after launch LOAL capability allowing launching aircraft to take advantage of its reported maximum range of more than 100 kilometers. The Astra may provide a much needed upgrade to the country's aerial warfare capabilities in view of India's subpar performance during the 2019 Jammu and Kashmir airstrikes. The Shaheen Air Force exercises between Pakistan and China may have played a big role in familiarizing Pakistan with the capabilities of the IAF. In these exercises, China has used its J-11 fighters, which are themselves illegal copies of the Su-30 and are also equipped with the same R-77 BVR missile that India also uses. Pakistan may have also gleaned from the exercises information on the minimum about ranges MAR of India's R-77 missiles and at the same time developed effective BVR tactics against India's Su-30 MKIs. Pakistan has a known stockpile of 500 AIM-120 BVR missiles for its F-16 fleet, giving it an edge versus India in BVR combat since 2010. It is considered among the most advanced weapon of its type in the world, equipped with an active seeker head with a range of 100 kilometers in contrast to the export versions of India's R-77 BVR missile that have a shorter range of 80 kilometers. Pakistan's intimate knowledge about India's BVR capabilities and doctrine and superior technology may have given it the advantage during the decisive aerial clash. India may thus be trying to regain its lead in BVR combat by fielding the much more capable Astra BVR missile to replace its disappearing Russian-made R-77s. The Astra missile is also emblematic of India's push to indigenize its defense industry. An early Astra version was equipped with the Russian Agat 9B1103M active radar seeker and radio proximity fuse detonation mechanism. However, sanctions on Russia's India's traditional military supplier could mean that sensitive components such as missile seeker heads may be harder to procure in the coming years. India has claimed to have fully indigenized production of the Astra with the Indian Ministry of Defense saying that the missile had been designed with the need to reduce dependence on foreign sources. The statement also claims that the Astra is economically and technologically superior to many such imported missile systems now in Indian service such as Russian R-77, Israeli Derby and French Meteor BVR missiles. 
Moreover, India has included the development of indigenous BVR missiles in its third positive indigenization list, which mentions 101 military items that India aims to procure domestically from 2022 to 2027. India may also choose to export its Astra Mk-1, capturing a market niche for alternative suppliers of Soviet and Russian standard equipment as questions rise about their reliability and effectiveness in sight of the losses Moscow had sustained in Ukraine. International sanctions on Russia may also have made it difficult for its client states to place new weapon orders. Countries such as Indonesia, Malaysia and Vietnam may opt to purchase the Astra which may be compatible with their Su-30 fighters and be more capable than the older Russian R-77 missiles which they now have in their inventories. Do like and share this video. I'm Anjana signing off. To view updates, subscribe to Comedy Global.